In this episode, we'll continue to discuss sound behavior and introduce phase relations and reflective surfaces. To understand phase, you should be aware that two travelling waves that exist in the same medium will interfere with each other. If their amplitudes add, the interference is said to be constructive interference. If two in-phase signals of equal amplitude are added together, they will sum to produce another signal of the same frequency but twice the amplitude. If their amplitudes are out of phase and subtract, the interference is said to be destructive. In this case, when two signals 180 degrees out of phase are added, the positive half cycle of one coincides with the negative half cycle of the other one and they will cancel each other out. The result will be no signal. Interference has great bearing in sound because of the production of beats between two frequencies which interfere with each other. When two sound waves of different frequency approach your ear, the alternating constructive and destructive interference causes the sound to be alternatively soft and loud, a phenomenon that is called beating or producing beats. The beat frequency is equal to the absolute value of the difference in frequency of the two waves. Let's transport this into real-life situations. Suppose you have set up several microphones and each sound source has its own closed placed mic. Sound from a single source arrives at each mic at different time. So, a mic that is distant from the source is picking up the source with the delay, which causes variable phase shift. When you combine the close and distant mic signals in your mixer, certain frequencies cancel out due to phase interference. Phase shifting can occur whenever two or more mics pick up the same sound source, but at different distances. The problem can be fought by using the 3 to 1 rule. The 3 to 1 rule states that you should separate the mics by at least three times the mic to source distance. This creates a level difference of at least 9 dBs between the microphones, which reduces the interference to an inaudible 1 dB or less. If you place the mics close to their sources and keep the mics far apart, you should prevent phase problems. Let's briefly talk about reflective surfaces. As a sound wave travels through a medium, it will often reach the end of the medium and encounter an obstacle or perhaps another medium through which it could travel. The behaviour of a wave upon reaching the end of a medium is referred to as boundary behaviour. There are essentially four possible behaviours which a wave could exhibit at a boundary. Reflection, the bouncing off the boundary. Diffraction, the bending around the obstacles without crossing over the boundary. Transmission, the crossing of the boundary into the new material. And refraction, occurs along with transmission and it's characterized by the subsequent change in speed and direction. In this chapter, we'll not discuss the boundary behavior of a sound wave as there are too many physics and acoustic concepts to be introduced. <laughs>